Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. So on my left, I have the Z Fold 4 and on my right is the Z Fold 3. Today we are going to do a quick benchmark comparison between these two devices. And uh, here, let's take a quick look at the system information. You can see Z Fold 4 on the left is 8 Gen 1 Plus or 8 Plus Gen 1. And then on the right is the Snapdragon 888 Power Z Fold 3. So both of these two devices, have the same storage configuration, which is, which is 12 gigs of RAM plus 512 gigs of ROM. And furthermore, we know that there is a performance setting called light, which affects the performance on the Z Fold 4. So for this comparison, we'll use the default or standard or whatever you call it, performance mode on both of these two devices. So our very first benchmark will be Geekbench, which tests the CPU performance and you can see that there is a floating window that shows the real-time CPU temperature. Uh, but uh, take note that the battery temperature, which is the last row, uh, is not really comparable because I find that it always shows lower on the Z Fold 3 uh, than the Z Fold 4. But actually, when I try to measure the device temperature, I find them to be almost the same, right? Sometimes the Z Fold 3 is even hotter, but the, this floating window app uh, seems to be reading the wrong sensor and uh, doesn't really show that. So you will see that the Z Fold 3's temperature is always lower than the Z Fold 4, but uh, just uh, maybe just ignore it. Okay, so here are the results. We see that of whole single thread, the Z Fold 4 is about 20% faster and for multi-thread, it's about 11% faster than Z Fold 3. Okay, now I should mention that in between each test, I always let the device rest to give them enough time to cool down to room temperature again so that all the subsequent tests will show their true potential, right? So I don't run all these benchmarks back to back to each other. Instead, I give them time to cool down so that in the next benchmark, they'll perform well. Okay, so the next one we are going to test is N22. Here we take a quick look at the device information again. You can see the 8 plus Gen 1 on the left and the 888 on the right. And then let's start the test. Okay, here we see that the A plus Gen 1 is very impressive. It actually scored more than a million points, right? So that is crazy. And it's actually 28% higher than the score from the 888. So that's a pretty significant performance boost from the Z Fold 3 to Z Fold 4. And next, we'll test uh, GFX Bench. We'll select a few of the more representative off-screen tests to make sure that the slight difference in resolution does not affect the results, all right? So yeah, let's go. Okay, so the results are in. I won't go through each score individually, but overall, uh, I think it's a very, very big jump of performance from the Z Fold 3 to Z Fold 4. On average, we see somewhere between 50 to 70% of performance improvement, right? So you can pause the video to check individual scores, but uh, in conclusion, the GPU is really much, much better than the previous generation. And next, let's run the 3D Mark stress test to see that under 20 minutes of sustained high GPU load, how each of these two devices performs. Okay, so this test is done. And before we look at the scores, uh, let me show you the temperature. Right? You can see that on the floating window, it shows that the Z Fold 4 is higher, is hotter than the Z Fold 3. However, here I show you that uh, when measuring the temperature using my thermometer, both devices are at around 40, 41, 39 degrees. So there is really no difference. So I think it's just the software is reading from the wrong sensor. Okay, now let's uh, come back to look at the scores. You can see that for both peak performance and sustained performance, the Z Fold 4 is actually 
eighty percent better than the Z4 three. So that is a huge improvement. I think it's safe to say that the Z4 four will perform much better in long gaming sessions compared to its predecessor. And of course, I'll do more testing videos of the real game test on this topic and uh, stay tuned for those as well. Our final test will be another stress test is to test the sustained performance, but this time we are going to test the CPU. So I'll be using this software called the CPU throttling test, which I think is a very good software for this purpose. Each test session will last about 15 minutes, so we'll actually try to run two sessions to stress the device for about half an hour and see how the CPU performance goes. Okay, so we've finished a half an hour of CPU stress test, and you can see that the average performance on the Z4 is actually more than 50% higher and the performance on the Z4 3. So this means the sustained performance is also much improved on the CPU side. Okay, so that concludes all the benchmarks comparisons we are going to do today. And there is one last thing I want you to notice is that I actually started the test at 100% battery for both devices. And we run the exact set of tests on both of them for the exact set amount of time and now you can see that the Z44 is at 58% battery and the Z43 is at 52%. So that means the Z44 is faster than the Z43, but at the same time it's drawing less power because both of them have the same battery capacity. So it's using less percentage, that means it uses less power. That means it's more efficient. Alright guys. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Okay, see you next time.